No, I'm ready. I got my I got my drone out. We're picturing the whole thing. All right. Let's do it. And Three, uh two one. <laughs> Right, welcome back everybody to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? Today I'm hanging out with Captain Adonis. How you doing, Cap? Good, good, good. Man, we're the only ones here today. Yeah, unfortunately, Zan was <laughs> unable to join us today, and uh, and, and Goo is still unable to join us. But uh, you may notice I've done some uh, upgrading to the base. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Got some um, uh, bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs. And, yep, and I, oh, I, just, I set the doors <laughs> so that you have manually have to open and close them so they're not always just opening and closing as you're walking past them up here. Or you can just fly over the wall. <laughs> or, or, or you can just fly over the wall, yeah. But I... Um, but so the, yeah. the reason I was able to do this is you'll notice I took the stairs out and I uh, replaced the stairs with, well, this. Oh, <laughs> that's stuck. Wow, I just, I'm just jumping all over the place. Hey, there we go. Okay. We'll just call you Tigger. Yeah. Well, I, ju I jumped in behind the uh, constructor. <laughs> when, I, when, then, when I went to jump out, I jumped right back into the bedrooms upstairs. Yeah, I saw this. This looks cool. This is like our old base right yep, here. Yeah, and flip except a switch. It's, uh, yeah. And uh, except we got curly cue stairs going down. Yeah. <laughs> ah, all our plants died because of the uh, uh, attack. Yeah. Well, we should put a door right here at the bottom or something. Well, what we ought to do, yeah, put a door at the bottom and put a put a its own personal ventilator, ventilator in here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and just clear out all these dead plants. Okay. Because each one of these, I had spice, I had fruits, I had vegetables, I had... Uh, oh. Oh. I don't know which one of us did that. Yep. That was me. Oh, okay. I was just looking. I was like, nope. <laughs> I'm going to do that for now to maintain the integrity of the base, the atmosphere. Okay. Yeah. Um, but down um, there, you'll notice there's a bunch of switches that just turn off each individual light. Light. Um, That's what I kind of they were. Okay. So I'm going to need this. And uh, we're going to need to find some more fruits because we have no more fruit or vegetables. Well, now I'm curious. Well, I've got um, a pear thing fruit right here, like the plants. So when you look at the stairs going down, it looks like there's a stairs above it too. Yes, I did that because if it, oh, you if, did it, it okay. if it was a uh, solid thing, if it was a uh, like a solid piece, it would it'd prevent, be tight. Yeah, it'd prevent the oxygen from getting down there. Yeah. Okay. I was just like, oh, I didn't know it did that, but because no, they didn't. You did. <laughs> um, fortunately, when I was building uh, the garden, we had a few extra plants left over of each type, so I can go ahead and plant some uh, some of each type. Okay, but we'll have to find some more fruits, huh? Uh, well, I have one pear thing fruit plant that we had left. Ah. So now we've got one plant of each type. Um, I want to go ahead and get the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, that one grow plot put back. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to because what are we out of? 
crushed stone. We got plenty of crushed stone in here. So you'll notice we've got over a thousand raw pentaxid. Yeah, where did you find all that? Um, I took a uh, auto miner. I built an auto miner and took it to uh, uh, took it into space and went to the moon and gathered up. That's where I got all the cobalt too. But uh, if you hit the B for a second and uh, look at my kills, um, <laughs> those are all golems. Nice. Because I needed to uh, to make uh, to uh, get the neodymium, and uh, well, that's what was required for the neodymium. Right. I see you found the swimming pool. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, I had a feeling, you know, we might need some recreation while we were here. And here's the thing. <laughs> This entire portion of the base is made entirely of plastic. Uh, nice. Because had, uh, with uh, the Alpha 8.5, they introduced plastic blocks. And uh, so great. I figured, why not make use of them? Yeah. So I had a guy in uh, Iron Man uh, made his ship out of plastic. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's viable. It's just plastic it has the exact same uh stats as wood if i'm not mistaken yes <laughs> yeah it's got the same health and everything as wood and uh it, it, it i think it's like just as you know non-damage resistant <laughs> but so i put a little uh armor yeah. thing in here so you can take your armor off chill in the pool and then when you're ready yep. to go, just put it back on. And then I, you can turn on the lights on and off from in here. Um, but if you leave with the lights on, they'll turn off because it's on a sensor as well. So in case you forget. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And uh, then you'll also notice that uh, we have a large addition to the base over here. Mm -hmm. This is actually its own individual structure. As you'll notice, it's got its own uh, name tag. Oh, and, yeah. uh, both this and the base right now are 100% solar powered. Um, but the base has a tendency to run out of power if we uh, have it making a whole bunch of things for too long. Whereas this one doesn't really have anything that uses much power. So Nice. But you'll notice you can light up the entire bottom down here with a flip of the switch. Yeah. Also, these are also on a sensor, so we can leave it lit up, and when we leave, the lights will go off. Nice. Up here, just before we enter the main thing, you'll notice there's a little loading pad here so that we can put the... Uh, the uh, capital vessel here and have... Like, when we have it uh, vertical, and uh, it should be... You know, able to launch when we retract the uh, the shutter door. Oh. Now, I've got cool. it on a uh, sensor, so when we're in the uh, capital vessel, the shutter door will be retracted. But when we're one square ready to exit, it'll, you know, pop out so we can just walk out. Yeah. If we have it lined up properly. Yeah. Did you get the... Uh, the ammo box built we got drones coming in I knew you were making ammo in an ammo box but I don't know if you placed it uh, yes I did and okay. I put yeah no I did not place it <laughs> <laughs> okay so Oh, I've got yeah. to redo this this uh, light in here. Yeah, very cool. Like a mission control station. Yep, there we go. Now the light in here is properly calibrated. And I went ahead and just turned off the fridge and the processor up here because we ain't going to be using it. But that just came with the blueprint. Yeah.
and uh, you'll notice that uh, there, you don't see any generator or anything, but it's mm -hmm. back here. If you just walk back here, it'll pop open. So if we need to, oh. we can put fuel in here and use the generator. But okay. right now, it just uses the four solar panels that it's got on the sides, mm -hmm. and uh, it uses those to power the base. Nice. And uh, I went ahead and moved some of the cargo, some of our stuff over to this cargo thing. The only thing we have left to move is what's in the uh, uh, constructor, I believe, and the food processor. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this uh, ammo box up before the uh, <laughs> before the enemy get here. here. Yeah. And destroy the base again. <laughs> I like a lot of the new uh, pictures they have for the stuff like the auto miner core is different and yeah, the new icons are really cool. Yeah. yeah. They're getting a lot better with that. Of course that's, you know, I mean, you, you want to get the game going. You don't necessarily oh, yeah. worry about all the decorations first. Yeah. The auto miner cores now look like an engine rather than a, uh, yeah. Uh, what, what was it before? I don't even remember. I don't remember. Hmm. All right. You got the guns loaded? Yeah, I got the guns loaded, so we shouldn't okay. have a problem with the uh, tur with the drones now. Come. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Now I don't have to rebuild the base for the fourth time or fifth time or whatever. <laughs> right? So uh, I've got the uh, Leo set up in my workshop. It's all ready to go. Um, I had to kill a lot of golems to get the neodymium, and it took a long time going around the planet finding them, but... I'd basically just stay in the night time zone, going, you know, from north to south in the uh, dunes areas, and uh, killing golems just around the planet for, like, a few hours. <laughs> nice. And I did it like on three separate days for, you know, th two or three hours each day. And uh, it took a long time. I'm collecting this stuff from the drones and then uh, I'll be back. All right. Where is the other drone? It's literally right next to it. Yep. Yeah. No, I got them. I got all three. Oh, there's one last thing that I need to show you, Cap. Because remember, I told you I was I went I went to the moon and back. Well, to yeah. do that, I had to build a small small vessel. Okay. I didn't see. Oh, is it parked somewhere else? Yeah, it's up in the uh, it's up in the uh, tower. Oh, okay. Oh, and I don't know if you saw the mole over there. That's that's a uh, drilling hover vessel that I used for mining out a whole bunch of deposits. Oh, yeah. And you can activate and deactivate the drills. Nice. Yeah, nice. That's a nice feature that they made. Now, you got retractable landing gear on your SV yet? On the SV, yes. Okay. Um, on this thing, no. This thing, I wasn't worried about it. Oh, it looks like the rocket damaged it a little bit. All right, I'll put this stuff in here. 
Now this SV is really cool. It doesn't have any weapons, but it is a uh, a utility vehicle. Okay. I don't know if you want to come up here, if you want me to fly yep, it out I'm, to you, but I'm coming up. I just had to get rid of the dead plants in my inventory. <laughs> No, oh, no, that's the uh, gun level. There it is. Um, yeah. So uh, you'll notice it's basically a mini pod with additions. Yeah. Um, I took the basic mini pod. I added a constructor to the back. I added the refrigerator to the back. I changed the sides to more cargo. Put the retractable landing gear, added better thrusters and a detector, and this is what you get. Now, when I turn it on, see the blinking lights? Yeah. <laughs> and you even got them on the correct side. I'm impressed. <laughs> and uh, so when you lift off, the gears retract. Nice. And... I've got it so that you can set it up. Workshop mode. Turns off the thrusters and everything and oh. changes the lights around so that you can see around the thing better. So when you're yeah. out and working, you know, it's it's more of a functional workshop and then you can deactivate you workshop to mode. Faction, and, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah. It's yeah, also like got mode. a cruise and coast mode. In cruise mode is for in space. It deactivates every all the thrusters and the RCS except for the rear thrusters. So you can just fly in a straight line and just let mm -hmm. go of the buttons and it uses a lot less power than just pressing I. And coast mode is similar. Coast mode keeps the bottom uh, thrusters active but deactivates everything else. So when you're in the atmosphere, you can just point down a little bit and use it like a roller coaster coasting down towards where you're going and uh, basically just coast down without using all the thrusters and everything. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. I like it. Um, and this is what I use to go to the moon and back to get uh, Cobalt and uh, Pentaxid. And uh, it's a neat little ship and the Leo has room to carry it with us. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of, I think Speaking we should go do of, a reveal. I agree. So, it uh, if you guys remember, in Season 1, we had this really cool, compact, small vessel. Now, it didn't have a constructor on it. It didn't have a grav generator. But it was... For all intents and purposes, a mobile base, apart from the constructor stuff. So we had to keep stopping back and forth, you know, from place to place. Um, but now I've got the Leo upgraded for Alpha 8. So whenever you're ready, Cap, you want to do a countdown or um, something? No, I'm ready. I got my I got my drone out. We're picturing the whole thing. All right, let's do it. And three, uh, two, one. There it is. So now the awesome thing about the Leo, and you'll notice it's already named TSV Leo Two. Yep. And uh, if you want to take your drone around the outside and all, you see it's got it written on the yep. sides. It's got, you know. Um, at one point, I uh, in the creative mode, I had even gone ahead and put some, you know, side lights and stuff on it. But I forgot to save it to the blueprint before I uh, brought this in here. But the nice thing about the Leo is that it's got two different launch modes. It's got a vertical mode and a horizontal mode. Uh, let's get a little bit of fuel in it first. Yeah, see, there's an awful big flat spot on the top. It looks like it's missing something. Well, it's not really missing something, but there is an addition that you can add on to it up here 
uh, that's the TSV Spock. I don't have it spawned in yet. Um, and the Spock interferes with the vertical takeoff. Um, <laughs> of course it does. Like the ver yeah. the vertical mode takeoff because uh, the door to enter for that is over here. Um, but uh, if you want to come inside, I'll give you a quick little tour. Now, you remember the interior of the original one, right, Cap? Oh, yeah. And uh, I tried to keep in that same spirit, but with, you know, upgrades. Okay. So as soon as you enter, you can retract the landing pad, the landing or the, uh, what you call it, the ramps right here mm -hmm. with this switch here. Okay. Uh, we've got, you know, a couple of lockers in here. And if you look out back there, we've got a small shuttle, ba uh, shuttle bay that I mm -hmm. added. And uh, you, when you're in here, you have to come down through the bottom and then up into it. But I, uh, so right oh, now cool. we, you know, we can't load it while it's in this yeah. mode. But if we were to hover it a little bit or whatever, you yeah. you know, it'd be easy to do. So if you come right through here, we've got the kitchen area with the little dining area here. Yeah, and, uh, wrong faction again. Oh. <laughs> And uh, we've got the crew bunks right through here. And the door is set up sort of as a manual door. Mm -hmm. um, when you leave the thing, if I'm not mistaken, it, when we both walk out, the doors should shut, but they have to be manually opened. Cool. Um, so we got the little bathroom area there. Come up straight through here, you've got the cockpit area. That looks out the front, which is, you know, mm -hmm. here. And then up here, you've got the uh, weapons area and the tactical command center area. And then you've got this elevator that will take you up to the top. Back here, we've got engineering and medical. So we've got a fully functional medical facility with all different types of medical facilities we've got the warp drive visible through the glass plates here just like it was like visible right there in the last mm -hmm. one and uh we've got a constructor right here and we've got room for this thing to be upgraded uh this is a large constructor not an advanced one and it's got a uh, room right here to put a repair station but uh this is a level 10 ship as it is right now as with yeah. with the minimum of requirements for uh resources so it's got just regular steel as the hull which will need to be upgraded but uh you'll also notice up in the roof we've got the weapons and cargo up there yeah so um that. oxygen yeah i like it so um, and you can fill up the fuel over here. Now, these aren't the only oxygen and fuel tanks. It's just I put them there so you can access them without having to use the uh, control panel if you want. Yeah. Um, and then in the back, there's room to expand the engine from the uh, from what it currently is up to, I believe, a large or extra large engine. Nice. I, I think an extra large engine. Uh, three by three. So, uh, what do you say we go ahead, get this thing loaded up and get it put in vertical mode? Yeah. Because in vertical mode, it's, it's really cool. Oh, decompressing. Yeah, I accidentally turned the uh, oxygen on and off and on. So oh. when it turned <laughs> off, it said decompressing.
Okay. Let me go refill my oxygen real quick. There's a oxygen station up in the tower that I that I'm gonna go use. Yeah. You want me to grab all this food? Or just some of it? Um grab the food, go ahead and put it in the uh in the food processor in the Leo. Um we don't want to risk using the refrigerator while we're gone. Yeah. But while we're here, if you want to put something in the refrigerator that, you know, stuff that's like we're going to be eating from the refrigerator, you know, right now, yeah, you know, that'd be fine. Are we taking everything out of the constructor or? Yeah, we need to move everything from the constructor to the constructor in the Leo. Because after this, we're basically just going to be using the Leo as our base, going from place to place, upgrading it once we get the Sathium. Because I, I wasn't about to hunt golems for enough Sathium to plate this thing in, <laughs> in combat steel, you know? What? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm thinking we don't need two ammo boxes. We only need one that we can put all the ammo in. So, I'm going to move these okay. around a little bit and give us an extra cargo box space. Um, if you could, before you unload that, make three cargo boxes. Okay. All right, the food's in. Okay. Let me go back. Actually, I can make a couple of cargo boxes right here because... Did you put iron and copper in the large constructor? Yeah, I just did. Oh, okay. That's all I could carry for right now. <laughs> well then I can make the cargo boxes we need right here because it just requires iron, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I had all the food on me, so I. Oh, uh, are you still using a mechanical drill? If so, I can make up tier two drills and such. Yeah, I have a tier tier one multi-tool and tier two drill. Yeah, I can make you tier two versions of them. Okay. Those drones don't mess around. They keep coming like every, like, <laughs> you know, every 10, 15 minutes.
All right, got the last of the stuff out of the constructor. Um, I suppose we'll just leave everything else, huh? Uh, let's see. Well, you got the stuff out of the constructor. Did you get in? You yep. got the stuff out of the food processor. Well, I got the food out of the food processor. Yeah, I grab everything. Out, yeah, I gra grab all the materials out of the food processor as well because we're gonna, you know, okay. need that as well, possibly. Okay. Oh, and there's our timer. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead, finish loading this up, and then uh, figure out what to do for the next episode since we don't have a full crew. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I think I think we should wait. I think we just do one episode this week. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, we'll just you know we'll just continue with what we're doing here for a little bit until we get it all ready to go, and that way when. Zan or Goob gets here, then, oops. <laughs> okay. I don't have any room, and I tried to pick up my bike, and it just put it into its little. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, yeah, I suppose we don't really need to show them what we're doing. Why don't we come out on the platform here and yeah. call it an episode and we'll get this stuff moved over and and uh, call it good. All right, I'm, I'm just on my way back. back. Yeah, I'm on my way back out. Okay. I'm gonna go down and grab my bike. Yeah, and we get to do it in the sun this time. Oh, you're on the other side. <laughs> well, I was I was coming around here. Yeah. Yeah. And so, there go the drones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least our base is shooting them, you know. Yeah, right. But uh, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody yeah. enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button for us. And if you, why is that thruster on you? Why are you on? <laughs> well, there's not the only one. There's one on the side over here too. And one up front. <laughs> Gremlins. Yeah. I'm going to have to figure this out. It's amazing how they've changed the way everything looks and it looks so much better now. Okay, so it's not letting me access the control panel from the ground. Like looking at it, I can't access the control panel anymore for... Well, just jump up Leo. here on this ledge. Oop, I missed it. There, there, or do that. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> if you like this episode, <laughs> yeah, if, if you like the episode, hit the like button for us. We make sure everything's off. And uh, if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival Multiplayer, go ahead and subscribe. What you messing with the ramps for? I think it's cool. I know this is for landing, but... Yeah. It's like air brakes. Air brakes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to Captain Adonis and Know It All DM. I'm Know It All DM. I'm Captain Adonis. And as always, y'all have a good day now. <laughs>